Hello, everyone. If you are seeing this error message, your SharePoint tenant admin does not allow site collection admins to create an Azure access control principle. This video is for you. So let me start from Microsoft Identity Management. Well, any application that want to access SharePoint need some kind of authentication. Daemon applications that basically uh, as per Microsoft apps that have long running process or operate without user interactions need client ID and client secret or certificate to access SharePoint. And if you will search for client ID and client secret for SharePoint, you'll probably find another Microsoft article which says that you need SharePoint app only service principal. And it says that SharePoint app only is older, but still very relevant model of setting up principles. And it is saying exactly how you can get this app principal in SharePoint. So if you are SharePoint site collection admin or developer, uh, it says that you should go to this page a break new and click generate client ID, generate client secret. Right? So, and if you really go to some SharePoint site, and here you can type So this is page. So just recently you were able to click generate and get client ID and client secret. But now you click generate and it says tenant admin doesn't allow the site. So the reason behind it is Microsoft changed the default policy. I explained it in my blog article, but yeah, basically uh from now on site collection admin cannot register application only tenant admin can register this application in sharepoint but you are not needed this uh anymore because microsoft implemented a new feature called site is dot selected and what is recommended is you go to portal.asia.com and search for app registrations. And from app registrations, you should be able to click new registration. If you are not able, if it is disabled for you, so there must be a way for you to request this from your uh, tenant admin. So either way, or you register this application yourself or you request this application but after you request it you should be this application owner so you should be able to go to this application and update it uh, as you need so let us register a new application now you should go to api permissions and from API permissions, you would add graph application permissions and search for site. And on the site, you will find sites.selected. Do not request these permissions if you need access to only one specific site. So this first four permissions provides access to entire SharePoint tenant, to all sites. So probably if you need access to only one SharePoint site, uh, you will not be able to get this permission. So for access to one specific SharePoint site, this is what was designed by Microsoft. So, and you click add permissions and then you need to add another site as dot selected permissions which lives under SharePoint. 
again select application permissions again select site and another site selected permissions here so now you have added two site selected permissions this allows you to call graph api and this allows you to call sharepoint uh, rest api classic client side object model sharepoint so basically this is what you need to replace this is based permissions so you don't need a based permissions if you got uh, site selected permissions on the sharepoint now you can see it says not granted right so you need to request this to be granted from tenant admin fast forward so on another screen i provided admin consent for this application so let me refresh it okay now i go to certificates and secrets and here i can generate new secret so the secret is generated by system for me and i should copy it and save it to secure place for example azure key vault or another vault after i go to another screen from this screen uh, secret will be hidden so this is the only chance i can uh, copy the secret so this is what i need or more secure is to use certificates you can request certificate from uh, your company authority or generate self-signed certificate and upload it here what else you need is application id and tenant id yep that you need to get access programmatically for sharepoint so application id uh, tenant id secret or certificate and ensure that you have uh, site is selected microsoft graph and sharepoint permissions the only step you need to complete else is request your sharepoint people request your sharepoint people to provide access for your application with this id to specific sharepoint site uh, this can be done by sharepoint administrator using powershell uh, regular site collection admin cannot do this so you need to request it from your sharepoint admin that's it so uh, please find link to this blog article with all the details in the description and take care. Bye.